What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing a torque converter on a Predator 212 engine. Now this will work on any 6.5 horse uh, Honda clone. They, uh, they all have the same, same boat schematics and uh, should work on about any Briggs and Stratton 5 horse. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into this. Okay, we got all of our parts laid out on the workbench. We have our torque converter mounting plate the rear pulley as well as the front pulley and we have it separated right now all the washers and the uh, sprocket that we need we're using a 42 or a number 40 chain so it'll come with a, a number 35 and 40 sprocket but uh, we got all of our bolts and nuts and as well as our belt laid out the first thing we're going to do is if you notice every one of these honda six and a half horse clones have these four bolts now that will line up with one of uh, these bolt schematics right here and we're going to use this one that I have already marked out with the Sharpie. This should be for any Predator or Honda 6.5 horse engine should use these bolt holes right here. Now the only tools you're going to need to install this is the 15 16 uh, socket or a wrench as well as a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. Okay, you're going to have to cut the corner off this oil plug. I always use a Dremel or a pair of 10 snips because the corner of it will hit the back of the torque converter engine plate. Now the first thing we're going to do is line this up and use the supplied 10 millimeter bolts to uh, bolt this on. Now we can move on to putting our rear pulley on. What we're going to do is take this long shaft that is supplied and uh, it has a circlip on the end of it as you can see. Uh, that is, will hold the shaft from sliding all the way through. So we're going to slide, so we're going to slide that in with the circlip on the rear of the um, torque converter plate. The next thing we're going to do is put this washer that is keyed on the uh, shaft first and we might as well go ahead and throw our piece of uh, quarter inch key on there to hold everything in place. The next thing you're going to want to install is the sprocket whatever one you desire the 35 or the number 40. Next we can throw on our rear pulley just line up the uh, keyway and slide it right on. Then we're going to throw our washer on and then our 15 16 nut. We're just going to hand tighten this for right now. Okay, now we're going to go and install the front pulley. The first thing we're going to want to do is put this bigger washer on. Next, we're going to put on this uh, steel spacer that is included with the set. Now, this just spaces the uh, front pulley out enough so it won't hit these bolts. Next, we're going to install the rear part of this front pulley um, and leave this longer section sticking outward. And by the way, it is keyed, um, so make sure to line that up and it'll slide right on. Now, we can put our brass bushing onto that shaft right there. Now this just keeps from uh, wearing the belt too much. And you wanna make sure one side of this belt is flat and one side has a little bit of an angle. The angle you wanna put outward on the pulleys. Once we got that belt snapped on there, we can uh, slide this uh, kind of gear. This is what holds this front pulley from just spinning in itself. You can see it's uh, got the four ribs on it as well so we're going to slide this piece on with these flat notches pointed out. Now we can slide the uh, outside of the pulley on um, and make sure to point these flat notches uh, out as well and they'll line right up with with those flat notches on that inner gear. Then we can put this a uh, notched washer on there with the uh, with the part protruding off sticking inside the pulley and then put the supplied 10 millimeter bolt on and I always use electric impact on this but uh, you may have to have a friend hold it while you take a ratchet and really snug it down now we can take our 15 16 socket and hit this lightly uh, with a impact. Do not hammer on this thing because it'll bend that circlip on the back of the shaft. 
Uh, what I always do is just put it on my electric impact and give it a couple hits and then uh, take a ratchet and give it a couple hits as well just to make sure I'm not bending that circlet that's on the rear of the pulley. Well, there you go, guys. There's the torque converter all installed on this Hemi Predator engine. Like I said, this should work on any Honda 6.5 horse clone engine. Um, they all have the same bolt holes, but this will, as you can see, it's set up for about any engine with a three-quarter inch shaft. Well, I hope you liked the video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Links will be in the descriptions where you can buy your very own torque converter. And uh, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.